Now let us discuss about pumping lemma for context free languages with the help of this example. Uh, prove that L is equal to A power P such that P is a prime number is not a context free language. So before solving this problem, first let us see the theory. Let L be a context free language. So initially we have to assume the given language as the context free language. Let n be an integer constant. So we have to assume uh, n as an uh, integer number. Select a string z from the language l such that mod z is greater than or equal to n. So we have to select a string z from the language l in such a way that mod z is greater than or equal to n. Mod z means length of that string is less than or equal to n. Okay. Then after that we have to divide the string into five parts such as u, v, w, x, y such that mod v, w, x is less than or equal to n. Here v, w, x is nothing but the middle part. So the middle part of the string is less than or equal to n and mod v, x is greater than or equal to 1. Why? Because here we are pumping. We are incrementing v and x value. Initially i value is 0. Next i becomes 1, i becomes 2, i becomes 3. So we are pumping, we are incrementing v and x value. So that's why the second condition is mod vx is greater than or equal to 1. So here the point is we have to divide the string into 5 parts in such a way that by satisfying these two conditions. First condition, the middle part of that string is less than or equal to n. Mod v w x is less than or equal to n. And the second condition is mod vx is greater than or equal to 1. Here vx means here we are pumping, we are incrementing v and x value. Okay. For if these two conditions are satisfied, then we have to check this case also. For i is greater than or equal to 0, u v power i w x power i y is in language. Now let us see solve this problem. So let us see the solution. So initially we have to assume this language as context free language. So let L be a context free language. Next we have to issue an integer value. So it is our choice. Uh, before that uh, let us write the language L is equal to A power P such that P is a prime number. Okay. So what are the prime numbers? 2 is a prime number. So A power 2 means we can write 2A. Next 3 is a prime number. So we can write as 3S. Next 5 is a prime number. So we can write as 5s. Next 7 is a prime number. So we can write as a power 7. That is 7s. So likewise we can write n number of strings. Okay. Now we have to select n value. So what is the n value here? By satisfying this condition. Mod z is greater than or equal to n. Mod z is greater than or equal to n. So let n is equal to 5. Then mod z means if you take a a then 2 is greater than 5 condition is false if you take triple a 3 is greater than 5 condition is false we can take 5 years or 7 years or 11 years 13 years it is our choice so let us assume that z is equal to 5 years 5 years z is equal to 5 years so here let's see whether this condition is satisfied or not so what is the condition mod z is greater than or equal to n so what is mod z? Mod what is z here? 5s. We can take 5s or 7s or 11s any problem. Okay. Is greater than or equal to what is n value? Here we are assume n as 5. So what is the length of 5s? 5. So 5 is greater than or equal to 5. Condition is true. So we can assume z as 5s. Next we have to divide the string into 5 parts. So here we have u, v, w, x, y. Okay. Here this is the string 5, 5s. Five now we have to divide the string into 5 parts. Let us assume that this is u, this is v, next this is w, this is x, this is y. It is our choice. We can assume a as w, a, v as single a, it is our choice. But we need to satisfy these two conditions. What is the first condition? Mod v, w, x is less than or equal to n. Mod v, w, x is less than or equal to n. Mod here v value is a, w is a, x is a. So mod 
a into a into a is less than or equal to n. What is n? 5. So what is the length of 3? Three, 3. So 3 is less than or equal to 5. Condition is true. Okay. So we can divide this one into 5 parts like this. There is no problem. Next to second condition. Mod Vx is greater than or equal to 1. Here what is V value? A. What is X value? A. Mod A is greater than or equal to N. 1. So what is the length of A? 2. So 2 is greater than or equal to 1. Condition is true. So we can divide the string into 5 parts like this. Okay. Why? Because these two conditions are satisfied. Now let us check this condition. So for I greater than or equal to 0. So we have to start from 0 onwards. U. V power I. W. X power I. Y. Here what is uh, U value? A. What is V value? A. A power initially we are assuming I as 0. Next W value A. X value A. A power what is I value? 0. I starts from 0 onwards. What is Y value? A. A into A power 0 means epsilon. Epsilon into anything is equal to anything only. So here we have triple A. Here this triple A is present in the language. Triple A is present in the language. Here we have to repeat this procedure until we get a string which is not present in the language. We have to repeat the process until we get a string which is not present in the language. Next issue, I as 1. Issue, I as 1. So for space constraints, I am writing here. So let I is equal to 1. So then what will happen? U, what is U? A. What is V? A. Now I value is 1. Next W, A. X, A. Now I value is 1. This is A. Y value is A. So here we got A, 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 A. So phi S. So phi S is also present in the language. Now let's check for I is equal to 2. A into A power 2 plus A into A power 2 plus A. So now how many A's we got? So 2 A's, 3 A's, 4 A's, 6 A's, 7 A's. So 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 3, 7. 7. So 7 A's. So 3, 4, 6, 7. So 3 A, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 A's also present in the language. Why? Because 7 is also prime number. Now let us assume that I is 3. So A into A power 3 into A into A power 3 into A. So now how many A's we will get? So 1 A, 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 1, 9. So now we will get 9 A's. 1 plus 3, 4. 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 1, 9. So 9 years. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But this is not present in the language. Why? Because 9 is not a prime number. So now we got a string which is not present in the language. So we can say that this is not context-free language. Why? Because initially we assume that the language is a context-free language. But here we got a string which is not present in the language. So that means we got a contradiction result. So entirely opposite result. So we can say that this language is not a context-free language. Why? Because initially we assumed this language has the context-free language. But we now we got a string which is not present in the language. So that's why we can say that this is not context-free language.